Thousands of homes in the Park Hill neighborhood of North Charleston were flooded almost a year after many of them were damaged by the 2015 historic floods. News 2's Travis Rice is live in that area right now. And Travis, you are, actually have had a chance to see the flood and then you saw some of the debris pick up. What are people telling you about getting some help to this much needed area? Good evening, Carolyn. Well, up until a short while ago, there was debris piled all around this neighborhood, including this house, which flooded out during Hurricane Matthew. But thanks to a familiar face, neighbors without flood insurance aren't so down and out. Almost everybody needs a hand in this part of Park Hill. I had 14 inches in the house and 17 inches in the garage. The debris piles only tell part of the story. Regina Taylor lost just about everything that touched the ground. Mattresses, carpet, walls. It's very hard to come home and everything in your house is ruined. Felicia Bonham's mail stayed dry, but her home wasn't so lucky. You know, you smell that like outside smell when you go inside and it was really sad because I've only lived here a week, about a week and a half now, just bought this house. Uh, really Jeremiah American, Swan evacuated uh, with his family before Matthew, um, but accidentally I mean, forgot so his dad's you Navy know, awards. You, you think you get everything when you're packing up and you're hoping for the best and you know, you end up missing a bunch of stuff uh, that you, you really care about. You just don't think about it. None of them have flood insurance, but that's where a familiar face steps in. I've got kids, and whenever I saw that his kids' toys were literally laying there underwater, it's like, man, you, you can't rebound from that. Jeff Cook donated his crews to get the water damage out as soon as possible. What we wanted to do is to try to find the people that needed the most help that couldn't really um, you know, get reimbursed through insurance and really wanted to try to help them to rebuild. Cook's business is selling houses, but he doesn't want people to abandon their homes. We really want them to be able to just sort of stay tight and uh, you know, get their house back to normal. The affected neighbors are staying, but they say they're taking the extra help as a sign. This is the guy in all those billboards helping you with your house. I know. It's like I actually considered him for my um, my real estate agent, you know, when I was looking for a house. You almost <laughs> have to pick him now. I know, I know. <laughs> If you're wondering why some people did not have flood insurance, it's because this neighborhood is not technically a flood zone. In the meantime, neighbors are asking for donations, and if you would like to help, a link will be on our website. Live in North Charleston, Travis Rice, News 2.